Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a heyday video. And this is one I'm very happy to be making. Now for quite some time there's been a beautiful fence of Edward Gregg's farm that I've not actually had within the game. And I've been wanting it for a long time. Now this is the fence in question and it does look very nice and that's the one I want. Now it is part of a group of three fences that actually came to Greg's farm some time ago. Two of those have already been available in the game for quite some time and I've grabbed quite a few of those if we actually look down here and you can see. Now these ones match up with the actual animal pen so there's the two fences down there, the cow fence and the chicken fence. Now this new one is going to be called a farm fence and today it came up in the game as a diamond purchase. So if we look at the actual diamond shop there with the office, you can see the fence there. You can buy five of those fence pieces for 40 diamonds. Now that's a little bit on the pricey side, I do agree in some ways. But I also think it kind of matches up with some of the other decoration that we're getting within the game. So I love the path pieces in relation to the dirt path pieces uh, and the actual water ditches. So it's an equivalent price for me. Now I'd love to be able to buy these things with coins and maybe in the future they might do that but we will have to wait and see. But for the moment it's worth diamonds. So I've got plenty of diamonds in my kitty uh, and I've used code red knight to actually buy those diamonds. Now for every time I click that it kind of gives me a little prompt and it says are you sure? It costs me 40 diamonds and the total keeps going down 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 and my total keeps going up up up. What I want to do is to buy about a hundred of these fences while they are available. So as you can guess from that action there's quite a lot of tapping that I need to do. Actually, I've lost count already. Who can tell me how many I've done at the moment? Now, that basically works out at like uh, eight, eight diamonds uh, a piece. Now, I agree, it is pricey, but I'm looking forward to it. And it's something I've wanted for quite some time. So for me, it is an oh my god moment. It's actually arrived. There's still more decoration on Greg's farm that I want that hasn't come into the game yet, or I've not been able to get, so fingers crossed in the future on that one. Okay, how many have I got so far? 95. Okay, one more I need. So we do that one. There we go. That is now the 100. And it actually shows me down there by tapping on the icon, something's brand new farm fence. Now I'm pleased. Now what I want to do is to replace this fencing that's just here. So this is the cow fence that I got that matches the cow pens, as you can see. So I want to actually get rid of that fence now using the edit mode, so very easy. If I tap something else, not going to be a problem. Once I've removed all of the actual cow fence I've got around there, around my actual pieces, I'm going to then paste them back down. Now, while I'm in the edit mode, I can just slide along to the actual fencing section, find the pieces, slide on down. Once I found them, I can place the pieces down and then I can paste it. So, I do like the edit mode. Now, I know for some of you the edit mode is not working. It is being fixed by Heidi at this moment in time, so do give it a go. I know the custom decoration did affect it, so somebody was saying in my live stream today that they fix their own one by placing all of their custom decoration into storage, bringing it back out, then putting it back into storage a few times, and it seemed to click and make the game work for them. Now I did have the edit mode issue in the past, but it disappeared, I must admit I did follow the same procedure in relation to putting my deco back into storage, uh, but I also brought some out and used it as well, so I'm still waiting for Heyday to fix what they need to fix. Now because I can't quite see the fencing, we'll clear away some of the other pieces there, and I think from looking at this design here, I actually missed the rest of the fencing there behind the trees, so I'm going to have to do that one a little bit later paste the pieces I took out. Let's see if I can paste that fencing back down as well. So put the trees back down. There we go. Lovely, lovely trees. I love the paintbrush. Sometimes it's useful. Sometimes you need to move it by hand and do one piece at a time. Feed mill back down as well and that basic area is up and running. Right, place down the actual plots of land and then I can get my crops back as well. Should have harvested those, it would have made this much easier for me to do this in the first place. But um, either way, it's done now. 
Right, now I place the land pieces down. I want to start copying and pasting them. Now, as I found here, trying to copy and paste is not working so easily for me. So I can do some pieces, but uh, I just can't get that ground section there. So I think what I'm going to have to do is maybe remove some of the farmland again, or do it manually just to be able to actually get it done. Mm, well, let's move these pieces individually first of all. That's the easy part, sliding those over there where they belong, and that is then done and dusted. Pasting there is not working for me, so I can even do them individually. Or what I can do is remove the farmland like this. That will then give me a very good open area to work with, and then I can just paste much more smoothly there. So sometimes you need to remove to be able to do something and then again once you've done that you can place them back afterwards and that is definitely a key process for me in this. There we go, farmland back in, it looks good, I like that, wonderful indeed. Now, are you going to be buying these? Now, if you do need diamonds, remember you can actually get diamonds in game. Sometimes there's some very good diamond packs as well. Uh, sometimes they are not there and you might have to wait till later. Now, I like my deco, as you know. I'm very keen on getting decoration and for me, this does make me very happy in. Now, if you want to use my code, please do so. Remember, I'm not the only content creator. There are other content creators out there as well before you buy the diamonds. Yeah, there was some wonderful deco the other week that actually on some of my farms was diamonds based and on this farm was cash based. Yeah, diamonds would have been so much cooler because I got an excessive amount from buying the deco. Now, I'm happy with the design, so I'm going to say that one, the pieces are all in place. I'm going to enjoy showcasing this and maybe using this fencing a lot more maybe i'll buy more than 100 but we will see thank you for watching now this is my code as i mentioned that is the green box is actually available in the shop where i actually purchased those pieces earlier so why not slide along and use my code or one of the other content created codes as i said now what's more important for me is to actually hit that button there and subscribe to my channel or maybe watch some of my videos if you enjoy my videos do comment below as as well and i'll see you next time either in the video or my live stream bye now